All right, it's uh, another day, and I'm going to be working on her arms and her hands, and so I'm going to have the camera uh, singular on those areas while I work on them, and uh, hopefully um, I'll get something done today. I uh, was on the phone with a gallery, um, and it's a late start today. They have somebody interested in one of my pieces and they needed some information, which happens occasionally. Not often enough, but occasionally. <laughs> All right, be right back. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm just uh, guessing at the uh, wrinkles because I don't have a model sitting here. I do have a very poor picture of a woman wearing a dress like this, but it really is a very poor picture. <laughs> And I would think that the wind would have some effect, but maybe not too much because it's not a very roomy sleeve. It's uh, rather tight to the uh, arm sleeve. So there probably wouldn't be much effect on the, that. I do have the back part of the sleeve billowing out a bit because there would be an effect from wind blowing on her sleeve but not a great effect because like I said it's the sleeve is rather close to the arm I'm going to apologize in advance if you hear me breathing rather loudly. It's because my camera is right next to my mouth and nose. And there's just no way of getting around me breathing. It's what you do when you want to stay alive. <laughs> and I'm not sick. I'm not dying. I'm just breathing. It's an old man's breathing. But it's breathing. I'm trying to mentally control my breathing. I hate hearing myself breathe on my videos. But the fact that you hear me breathing is proof that I am alive.
Now I'll start working on the shawl. I've got to have the uh, corner of the uh, shawl in her hand. I can't work on the fingers at the angle this uh, hand is at right now because I can't see what I'm working on because it's underneath and I can't get reduce myself down to this side so I can work up so I've got to tilt this figure up and over and I got to figure out how I'm going to do that and right now I've got to move all my tools out of the way because they're just going to be in the way if I don't. Okay, I'm going to tilt her up. Oh yeah, that'll work fine. And I'll put this board underneath. I've got two screws back here that'll keep her from sliding that way. But this will give me the angle I need to work on her hand about a 45 degree angle I guess I just gotta anchor this part down so that it doesn't uh, go sliding on me okay gotta find the hole that I just drilled Okay, that'll keep her from flipping up that way. 
All right. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back tomorrow and uh, work on that hand. And uh, that'll give me a chance to fill in underneath, underneath where I can't normally see, too. So that'll be good. This is all good. All right. <laughs> From a tilted world, good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.